So you arrived back in the United States after all these uh, horrible things. You, you, what? what uh, how do you pick up your life at that time? You were you were 18 years old or 19? When we landed in New York, we had no parade. They took us at night time, like it was these in the night. And they put us on the first train bus to our destination. They sent me upstate New York. The others went on buses or yeah. other routes, <laughs> but they got us out of quick and had no yes. celebrations at all. Yes. I was going crazy, but nobody knew I was doing, won't have to do this but me. And uh, so, thank goodness, on the 29th day, I made up my mind. Now, we never killed a, a German citizen. First German, we never fired at anybody on the invasion. But we had to declare as we came in, they were shooting at us. We coined a phrase that we used, come back. If you're a combatant, you get killed, or you get killed. So we were going to have to call the those children to come back. Um, and my tank group was going to have to shoot them. It was the same kind of slow... If they didn't do it, guess what? I had to crush them with the thing. We so, could not allow this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sure, they had to go to the hills. Right. After they two or three that happened to them. Mm -hmm. They say, this is not oh, worth it. Okay. Let's go. And that's what we spoke for. Yeah, we didn't get there. So, uh, one last question, and then, because I was curious, how did you pick up your life? Because what, what, what was your profession after the, when you arrived in the United when, States? When, when, while we were in service, a lot of these guys today are cracking up right and left. We were kind of crazy when we went in. Yeah. And we were much more crazy afterwards. Yeah. It's the little things during the war that we kept the same. Such as the clock, our uh, watches went haywire. Well. And they'd holler down to me and say, Wilson, what time did I had an ADL in it, and I operated. And they'd call down, and then directly, the same guy would call down again, the guy would say, Hell, you just called it four minutes ago, and everybody laughed. Little thing to keep you alive. Yes, we have a. And we, and we were pretty tough, I said. Uh, yeah. Those little young bastards turned out to be some pretty tough adults. Yeah, it's really nice. I think so. But you, did you have trouble in your mind to, during, during your life? Here's what we did. If we, we, if we came up something bad, mm -hmm. we saw it. We saw it. I could probably tell but we, that we transferred it to the dream. Like my old dream. It was just a dream. And that's how we did it. And uh, that, that was a big thing. You can't let things linger in your mouth. You do. You're no good. You'll be killed. Yeah. So anything we saw is bad, even when we landed, it's all that bad stuff at the 82nd on the first airborne. Some, my little boy. Ships landed safely. Some landed with their body in there. Yeah. Well, we He's saw it. Than this one, I guess. But we didn't meditate. On. He looked like that when he was that age. And, yeah. we, did, and we didn't talk yeah. about it. When my driver got his legs blown off, we, we ran to him. The turret gets on both legs. We knew that he didn't. Yeah. We didn't have to loosen them because he didn't have a leg. But it, we kept Charles, him bleeding out. Charles. And uh, so we left him, uh, got him on his jeep. We never mentioned his name okay. again. Yeah. And, but we thought about it. Never talked about it. But I can't you can't mock that. Anything will lower your morale. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's, yeah, true. that's good. That's, that's, that's why you're still here. And that will carry you through. And, yeah. and that's, that's why I'm here today. Yeah. But what, what's your profession? I, I, I'm just curious. I was what, I was what? a farm boy when I went in. Yeah. When I got out, I, they took me out of high school. Mm -hmm. And when I got back in, I went back to high school. But that time, the GI Bill came through. Then I, I started to school on the GI Bill. And I went to Sioux Bend College two years, yeah. Eastern State University now, mm -hmm. for a bachelor's degree and a master's degree. And I wound up as a teacher and school principal okay. for 33 years. Wow. And teaching? I'm still there. Teaching what? I, when I taught, it was industrial arts, math, and science. Okay. Where are you, Wow. 
Yeah. Then when I was principal, I've, I've been principal of all the schools in our county. And one time, I was principal at, of all of them. One time, they got a whole bunch of dough counts, and, and they tell the teachers, you see Charlie Wilson, if you have a decision, you call him. <laughs> okay. Well, nice meeting you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Indeed, Thank you for, uh, Thank you for, your for the interview. Sorry. Sorry. Oh.